Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Metaphor Refantasio. This game is out recently and a lot of you guys have been playing it and facing FPS issues. So I decided to make a guide on it. Make sure to stick around till the end and I assure this will fix all of your problems. So let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the essential Windows settings and for that head over to settings on your PC and once you're over here, go all the way down to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of CPU and memory usage in the background and disabling so will help you to gain extra performance. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. This will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background, especially the notifications and services running in the background. Right meaning that you'll find graphic settings, head over to that and you'll find change default graphic settings. Over here, enable both hardware extra GPU scheduling as that will optimize you to reduce your latency and improve the game performance and it will also help you to use your GPU to render the games and optimize your so windowed games and this will help you to improve the feature compatibility and reduce your input latency. Once done with that, head back to graphics and over here click on the browse button and then go to the download location of your game. Once you find your game, simply click on it, head over to bin and then select metaphor.exe. Click on add. Once that is added, head over to options and then select high performance and then click on save. Once you're done with that, close your settings. Step number two is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and over here look for a local disk C, click on create and name it metaphor just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys want to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, click on close and close system properties. Next step is the metaphor refantasio FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can open this thing up and you'll find in six simple folders. First one is the CPU priority and over here you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. Go back to the main folder and you'll find in RAM optimization. Over here, I left a ton of RAM registries for your PC and this covers almost all kinds of RAM that you have installed on your PC. So I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to double click and run this one. Could be different for you guys, you can double click and run according to your PC. And if that doesn't work out well for you guys, you can always reset it back to default from here. Next is the GPU optimization in which I have left three simple GPU files. I ensure you guys that these will help you to improve your GPU's performance and you have to double click and run all of them. Next is the metaphor refantasio priority in which I have left high and normal priority. By default, you guys will have normal priority on your PC and you guys have to double click and select high priority to improve the resources consumed by your game and this will help you to increase your FPS. Once again, if that doesn't work out well, you can always reset it back to normal from the normal priority over here. Next is unwanted services and I highly recommend you guys to disable every single one of them over here. Again, if you use any Bluetooth devices, leave the first one. But other than that, all of them will help you to increase the CPU's performance drastically. These are the services that are running back in the PC and they are really not useful. And once again, if you want to revert them back, you can always use this folder to revert all of them back to normal. Next is the programs folder in which I have left three simple programs. First one is the cache cleaner. Simply right click on this as administrator. This will start deleting all temporary files on your PC which are currently not in use. These are just the crash dump files and the dump files that are created by your programs that are no longer in use and they are completely safe to remove. You can simply minimize it, let it run in the background and open up the next program that is Memreduct. Here is a simple example of how Memreduct actually works. As you guys can see that I am currently using somewhere around 11 GB of my RAM and as soon as I click on clean memory and then click on yes, you guys can see that my memory usage drops down instantly. This will help you to create a headroom on your memory, allowing it to perform better while you are playing the games. I highly recommend you guys to run memory duct each time you open up your game. Next is the MSI Mode Utility 3.0. Simply right click on this as administrator. Once you are in this application, you'll see a list like this. You have to locate your graphic card, click on the MSI button in front of it and for the interpriety set this thing to high and then select apply and then close it. This will set your SFIO priority for your graphic card, allowing you to consume more power and resources of your PC to improve its performance. Once that is done, close the FPS pack. Next step is deanimating your windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and over here click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents or dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. Other than that I would highly recommend you guys to disable every single visual effect and this will help you to significantly deanimate your windows while keeping the initial look intact. This will make your windows appear more smoother and improve the performance of your PC by a significant bit. By a little bit but the next step will help you to improve your PC's performance drastically. Head over to the 
the advanced tab over here and for the virtual memory click on change deselect automatically manage paging file size and for the initial size set this thing to 1361 for the maximum size open up calculator on your pc and over here multiply your ram that is 32 gb for me with 1024 to get your memory in megabytes divide this whole value by two and the new value has to be pasted in the maximum size once it is done click on set and then click on ok and this will help you to optimally set your virtual memory for gaming next step is local group policy editor and for that you can open up local group policy editor on your pc and this step will only be available for windows pro users so if you have a windows home edition you guys cannot do this and skip this step ahead head over to administrative templates windows components and app privacy in here and you'll find let windows apps run in the background simply double click on it and then enable this policy and for the default for all applications set this thing to force deny and just click on apply once you're done with that you guys will ensure that this policy is enabled which will disallow the applications running in the background allowing you to improve your system's performance once that is done close it next step is disabling sysmain and for that simply search for services.msc on your pc and right over here look for sysmain once you locate it, right click on this and disable it and stop it. Head over to properties and for the startup type set this into disabled, click on OK. And once that is done, sysmain will not run on your PC. Sysmain is not really useful for your system and it keeps on running in the background consuming your CPU and RAM over time and disabling so will help you to improve your performance. But in any case, if that doesn't help you out, you can always enable it back again. Once that is done, close your services and now drop it to the game for the best in game settings. Alright, so once you're in your game, press your tab key and then head over to settings right over here go over to graphic settings and then for the screen brightness you can adjust it according to your monitor for the graphics quality go with custom the rendering scale i prefer 75 percent but if you have a super low end pc you can go with 50 percent and if you have a better pc you can go with 100 percent ambient occlusion should be turned off texture quality i have set this into normal but you guys can also go with high frame rate limit i have set this into uncapped click on ok once that is done head over to display settings and over here choose your native monitor resolution screen mode should be full screen and vsync should be turned off click on ok once again and you are good to go once you're done with that press your escape key and now you can enjoy the game with the best settings possible and the best fps possible as well so guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We are really close to 200,000 subscribers and I really appreciate your support. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.